Guys, it's grocery haul time. I am using my new camera, uh, which I don't have a tripod for, long story. Anyhow, uh, um, I so that's where there's gonna be some differences. What you've seen, I don't know the microphone difference in this. I have extra microphones for it. I just don't have them with me because they were charging. Uh, anyhow, guys, this week's grocery haul I'm doing in a couple of parts, and that is because I actually picked up Walmart's grocery order last night, and then I came to do Target and Sam's Club today. And I said order. I didn't mean order. Guys, I've done all the grocery shopping myself. No order pickups, nothing. Um, I, I'm going to be working on this. Uh, here's a couple of ins and outs I will go through at the end as far as some things I'm going to need to work on for myself if I'm coming into the stores to do the shopping, which I prefer to do, but it definitely costs us more money. Uh, so we are over budget this week. Anyhow, guys, I'm going to show you everything we got here. Uh, the only thing that's not here is bananas from Safeway, and that's because I got enough produce at Sam's Club that... I didn't see a need to run to Safeway just for the bananas, and I actually want to see how the kids do without them this week, and I'll get them next week uh, just to save that trip. Um, but yeah, and I'll explain that with the apples and whatnot too. But anyhow, guys, I'm gonna quit rambling. Let's look at the food, and then I'll run through totals at the end. So just the Walmart portion. Coming back here, we've got three boxes of plain rice checks. That's actually because we have plans to not just make the um, puppy chow that we typically make with almond bar, but we're actually going to make it with sun bar this time because of a whole snafu that happened through Amazon and ordering. We ended up with uh, a large number of jars that are within two weeks of their end date. So we have to use them very quickly and we thought, what better way than to attempt to make uh, puppy chow with the sun butter and just see how it turns out. So there's that. Uh, one 18 count of eggs from Walmart. I will probably see about getting some from Target. I have not checked Sam's prices again just yet uh, to know how they're sitting, but um, these also come in the styrofoam containers, which I, guys, I have a huge aversion to styrofoam, and so it took everything in me just to get that one, uh, but I did. That way we've got them. Uh, one more bag of the real crumbled bacon. We do still have a little bit in the fridge and the other bag in the closet, but we've been going through a lot more as I make certain dishes, so went ahead and grabbed that as Walmart was actually kind of low on it. Two things of chicken breast lunch meat, three things of the honey uh, honey smoked turkey breast. Guys, I'm going to come back here and then I, I'll explain some stuff here. So we have got two things of Cliffia Farms almond milk. Funny story about this, guys, their bottles all look the same. I almost grabbed the oat milk by mistake. I was like, nope, wrong one. Because I didn't mean to buy almond milk. I was trying to buy creamer and I thought Walmart had my creamer all of a sudden. But they didn't. They just had almond milk. So the kids are going to get to have fun with um, some different flavors of almond milk and all of that. We've got a regular thing of milk back there, not to mention our regular almond milk. So guys, we're, we're well stocked on almond milk for now. A uh, thing of half and half, one tub of butter. This actually was not on the list, but I know we've been going through a little bit more, so I went ahead and grabbed that because I wasn't sure where we were at. Two bottles of the Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce. We are good on regular Chick-fil-A sauce, so I went ahead and got those. Four things of mini pepperonis. Last week we were able to get the regular pepperonis since I went into Walmart to avoid any more issues with their order pickup. Um, that's, I was able to get that. Guys, this is actually for the kids, for fun, to go with supper tonight. Marshmallow spaghetti. Weirdest thing I have ever seen. They're like marshmallow noodles. Um, but I thought the kids might kind of enjoy that. It'll be a fun treat. Uh, so there's that. Two loaves of bread just because we have a lot of sandwiches in our near future. Um, it's summer and just everything going on. So we got that. Uh, four cans of sweetened condensed milk. A couple of my teens are still drinking the Javi and then making fudge and stuff like that. We've got two jars of strawberry frosting. That is actually to go for a very specific cake request uh, coming up here in the next couple weeks. And Walmart had it in stock, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Two cans of Easy Cheese because uh, Sean enjoys that and it just it looked good. And then they had the Firework Oreos. This has, guys, it's got like Pop Rocks in the uh, filling of them which is kind of fun for the kids. And because there's so many people, I grabbed two packages just so they could enjoy that. So that is Walmart. We're gonna get this put away and you guys are gonna flip right around to everything else we're picking up this week. 
Now I am home with the rest of this. Guys, this is everything from Sam's Club. Uh, there actually was not any groceries from Target today. Um, things that, yeah, had to be picked up, but no food. So there is that. Coming back here, guys, I was so excited. I may have actually giggled out loud in the store when I was walking through Sam's Club when I found the like air pancake puff corn. That is something, if you remember, uh, we had found a while back, everybody loved, then they ran out of the pancake flavor and they just haven't carried it again in a while. They had it back in. So I went ahead and grabbed three bags because I know everybody will love that. Not to mention there are 10 of us in this house. Um, so while there are very large bags, there's not as much in there as it looks and it doesn't go as far. Anyhow, we also have two bags of plain ruffles to make microwave nachos with uh, Cheeto puffs and barbecue chips. It is summer. Um, not that that has stopped us from buying chips throughout the rest of the year. So there's that. As for our freezer stuff back here, I've got one box of the chicken cordon bleu. We do have some broccoli cheddar stuffed chicken in the freezer still, but I needed to go ahead and get the cordon bleus. Uh, we've got some Red Baron, uh, the, the little mini pizzas that we like. We had our friends here and we actually went through the two boxes that I had bought last week. Um, and they had them in so I went ahead and grabbed more of those as well as more dinosaur chicken nuggets because that is currently a favorite for Micah and our youngest little extra one. We've got two things of the almond milk creamer not to be confused with the very similar looking almond milk from Califia that I picked up at Walmart yesterday because I missed the lack of the word creamer. I've got three blocks of Colby Jack cheese, two things of Colby Jack slices, one box of, un or not one box, it's one thing, four boxes of stick butter that's unsalted and two that are salted. Uh, one of those is backwards apparently too. Got a tub of the Chef Shammy honey butter because several of the kids are having that on toast in the morning. And I went ahead and grabbed another one. Uh, a thing of the 90-10 beef, it, this is, oops, this is, um, actually just shy of nine and a half pounds so it's not even 10 pounds of meat there uh, but for anybody curious about what uh, hamburger is running here right now it is sitting at 398 a pound guys I have I've got a ton of produce so I'm actually gonna come back here first one box of the Belveda dark chocolate sandwich crackers uh, several of the kids like those they had these churro style cookie dough things they were on uh, one of the Sam's Club rollback sales or whatever. So I grabbed two of those because they have no eggs, no peanut contamination. Uh, I thought that would be something quick and easy to make um, on the days like today actually, where it's not the worst idea to turn on the oven. Uh, one thing of teas for Sean and a big pack package of tortillas because we will be having more tacos and stuff. Now coming down to the produce. Guys, we've got one bag of frozen fruit because several of the kids do like that. I also picked up a watermelon, two flats of blueberries, one thing of dates. We have not actually had these in a very long time and they just, they sounded good while I was there. Sam's actually had organic raspberries. So I grabbed two of those. They were $5.98 a package, um, which normally I pay that or more for half this size at Safeway um, for organic raspberries. So to get this size package for that price i was pretty excited they also had cotton candy grapes in so i went ahead and got two of those guys 10 bucks a carton for grapes so it's a little hard to stomach sometimes i did grab two pineapple these are not ripe yet uh so these are gonna have to sit on the counter for just a little bit but they were 2.98 a piece so that i thought you know for that price they can sit on the counter until they ripen up just enough and then we will enjoy those and then we've got two bags. Guys, I got to, actually, you know what? Got one bag of sweet potatoes. I had to dig for these sweet potatoes. Um, I had almost given up because everything was just not good looking. Um, and this was the first bag I found, the only bag I found, that didn't look uh, like they had all started to go bad. Uh, but now to explain the apples. I have two five pound bags of Fuji apples. Guys, we have an absolute preference for organic apples, but we have been less than impressed with the ones coming from Safeway lately. And that is one of the only places we have to get organic apples. Um, so while I have a preference for it every now and then, we do give and we buy um, things that while we would prefer they be organic, we just, we admit we can't get access to them. So Fuji apples, it's one of our favorite types. 
These are non-organic, so I just grabbed those at Safeway, which is also why we don't have any bananas. Sorry, I grabbed those at Sam's Club. Um, since I didn't go to Safeway uh, for the apples, I did not grab bananas. We will see, since I've got enough other fruit here, whether or not I end up needing to make a run here this week to pick up bananas. Um, but I think we're going to see how we do this week, and I'll just plan on getting some next week. So there is that. Guys, that's what we've got this week. Now I'm going to flip this around, and we're going to run through totals. Okay, guys, so it is like the next day from all of that. So I've managed to drag this grocery haul out over the course of three days, but I actually think that that's probably going to become more of the norm um, just because of the way life is working. It's summer, it's tourist season, all of these things. So with that said, I know that uh, Walmart ran us right about $160. Um, it, was, it was actually $175 even, uh, but I did purchase a $15 water bottle for our oldest foster child. And that's because the one that she came with has been leaking all over the place and her and I agreed she's going to need one for school anyhow. So we would go ahead and get it now um, and then she would just have it for the summer and then she'll use that one for the school year. So there is that. Um, so I knew having spent that much at Walmart already, it was going to be pushing things at Sam's. Now guys, first and foremost, I have to tell you is I acknowledge that I have some work to do on myself, um, which is actually part of where my budgeting series is going to be coming in because I, guys, I've liked the grocery pickup purely because it keeps me in line because I get to follow my list I don't usually purchase anything extra. I can see what the total is before I check out and all of these things. Um, I, I didn't do any grocery pickups this week. I did a lot of impulse buying for groceries, which actually really impacted our budget because while I have upped it to $400 since we have two extras, that means there's 10 of us total in this house, $400 a week is what is budgeted for groceries. After that 160 at Walmart, Guys, I turned around and spent 275 at Sam's Club. I, I went well over the 400. Um, it does help that I did not have groceries to get at Target. Um, I got sponge heads um, to wash dishes with and I did get a bag of coffee. So those things could have gone in the grocery haul and they have in the past. Um, I didn't include them this week because I also got a couple of ink cartridges um, and a birthday gift. So. It, it just wasn't really a grocery trip as far as I was concerned. So I did not include it. I was already over so much anyhow. And one thing I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to give Sam's Club, is on your phone, there is, uh, if you have a Sam's Club, you can use their app. And I actually ran into a friend at Sam's who, you see all the signs and everything, but she had never really paid attention to what it was. In the Sam's Club app, they have an option called Scan and Go. That's as you're shopping, as you're putting things in your cart, you can click on it and scan the, the UPC code. It automatically adds it to your cart. You can have a saved payment system on the app, which I use for the order pickup anyhow. And then you just pay with that and you walk out. Um, it shows a little QR code on the screen that you show them at the door instead of showing the receipt. Uh, it's really convenient for a couple of reasons. For one, you get to skip the checkout lines, which can get insane, especially since Sam's Club is like every other store and they're moving more and more towards self-checkouts. And if you prefer not to use self-checkout and want an actual cashier, well, you may be standing in line for a while because they usually have one or two at a time, um, despite how many people there are there checking out. And so Scan and Go is really convenient. This sounds like an ad, but it's not, I promise. Um, it's really convenient because you can skip the lines, but also as I'm adding things to my cart, I can watch the total. So I can see where we're at. So I know exactly how much I've got. So when I'm looking at those impulse buys, I can be like, oh, you know what? This sounds really good, but not this week. I didn't have that option this week because <laughs> Now, I, I could have gone ahead and done it for everything else, but it didn't, it seemed silly. Uh, the very first thing I picked up was a watermelon. Technically, it was an impulse buy, except that the previous day at Walmart, I had told um, our 11-year-old foster daughter that we would, I was looking at the watermelons. I was like, you know what? I will get one tomorrow at Sam's Club. So 
that's what I did. And I got there. It was the first thing I grabbed because they were right by the door. No matter what myself and two employees tried, we could not get it to scan. We scanned the barcodes on the watermelons. We scanned the barcode on the sign. We scanned the barcode up at the registers that they use when one comes through without a sticker. And the end result was I was going to have to go through the checkout line anyhow. And um, that was that. So in my mind, I went, well, if I have to wait in line anyhow, I may as well check out with everything, not just the watermelon. Um, so that's what I did. But what it meant is that I didn't see what my total was adding to. Um, now, I would have popped that. Yeah. I would have bought the pancake air puff uh, things or like air, whatever they're called. Um, anyhow, because that's something that everybody has loved. But I know that there were a few extra things. I may have watched the fruit a little closer. Um, I didn't get a lot that was impulse, but like the dates. I mean, that was another $10 right there. So yeah, that, that's where it all comes in. Anyhow, I, guys, I am actually going to be right here after I finish this, uh, working on the first installment for my budgeting series. When I'm working on these, I am going to include the links for the others. As I get them all uploaded, they will all go into their own playlist. So that way anybody wanting that information has it. I'm super excited to do this for you guys. Um, as well as some other stuff. I am, because we have foster placements, guys, I always forget somehow how tricky it makes my videos uh, because I can't show them. And the three-year-old does not understand staying like out of the line of sight. So if I go to do a recipe video or something like that, it makes it really difficult. Uh, the 11-year-old, absolutely, she mostly understands. Uh, she is having a hard time during my grocery haul. She likes to stand right next to me and watch but she does stay quiet. So that was the biggest thing. Um, and so, yeah, it's guys, honestly, sometime I'm going to have to get somebody else to do a behind the scenes shot when I'm doing the grocery haul of what the chaos around and behind me looks like, because I've always got kids sitting at the kitchen counter behind me. I've got one or two standing beside me. There's always at least one in the sunroom looking through the door, like, like this against the glass, waiting to see if I'm done yet, because we have bells on the door for the dog. It would probably be hilarious. So, anyhow, guys, that is our totals. That is what has happened. Um, I acknowledge that we blew the budget and it was absolutely my doing and that that is something I need to work on. Um, and I admit this so that maybe you guys are able to do the exact same thing and stop and say, you know what, I need to work on this. So, anyhow, guys, there it is. I hope that you are having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything else coming up next. And I'll see you in the next one.